What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you guys can see me okay. I am in my Model Y performance. I don't even have a selfie stick. I'm using my hand and I'm driving at that and I got my LEDs in here on. So hopefully that's helping brighten me up a little bit. Um, I got these LEDs from a company called EV Base. I love these things. They look so good. But right now I'm heading to the office. Uh, I wanna show you guys this Tesla. Actually, I'm going to the charging station first to charge this thing. So maybe I, if there's no one there, I can step outside the car and show you what I've been doing to it. It has some really cool stuff on it. You guys might've seen pictures. It's probably been like over a month now that I've done it. I just haven't had the time because I've just been so busy with the office. But I also wanna show you guys the office as well. And it's my turn to go, baby. Let's go, we're gonna jump on the 99 freeway right now. I have been working nonstop on this office for the longest time. Let me get a light on in here. Hey, can you guys see me now? There we go. I got my little uh, peace shirt on. <laughs> it's getting kind of hot now. The office doesn't have AC after like one in the morning, so I'm gonna be dying. Cause that's what time it is right now. It's almost one in the morning, like 12.45. But yeah, uh, everything's been going good, guys. It just sucks that I haven't been able to do so much content. What the heck? What the heck is this? Wow, all this wood on the freeway. I love it. I love it. <laughs> all right. I love running over stuff that might damage my car. I love that when I paid like $60,000 for it. Whoa, another piece of wood. What the heck, man? I'm glad I wasn't speeding. Normally I haul ass getting on the freeway, but I didn't today because I got my GoPro and I'm one-handed right now. Whoa, whoa, well, well, there's more stuff. What the hell? What the heck is going on? Is there any more stuff out here? Jeez Louise. There is always an adventure when you're with Mr. Central Driver, I swear. <laughs> when I took the Suron the other day, there was a lady that was in the parking lot going on the wrong side of the parking lot and almost ran into me. Then she didn't even say sorry, put her hand out, no nothing. So gotta be careful out here, guys. It's nuts. Even when I'm driving in my car, I feel like I'm actually more inclined to get in an accident in my car than on my e-bikes. I feel like I'm really safe on my e-bikes, even though a lot of you guys say I'm not going through red lights, but you know, I'm safe for the most part. I've been doing this for three years and my Suron is crazy. I had that thing for three years. But we're almost at the charging station. It is over there and I'm waiting for this light to turn green. Oh, dang it. Come on, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you, let's go. Come on, what's going on? All right, I guess we'll just sit here for a little bit longer. There we go. Come on, let's move. I got to go, baby. You guys wanna see how fast this thing is? Woo! Yeah. I am at 55%, uh, so it's not gonna be that quick. Especially, uh, it's really cold. The batteries are super cold. And I noticed when driving this car that it takes a while for the batteries to warm up. And once they do, the car really does give you a lot of power. But something I wanted to show you guys, I gotta get on my phone and hopefully my uh, thumbprint will work because half the time it doesn't. I got a S24 Ultra, or it looks like it's working now. I have a ghost controller on this car so I can turn all my lights to blue and the way I can tell if they work or not, I just bring up the cameras. And this is one of the coolest things I did to the car. I know there's gonna be a lot of hate. Are you bringing back too fast, too furious? I think they did this in what, 2001, the Fast and Furious movie, and I get it, but there's really nothing you could do to Tesla. So I just figured why not kind of be different? That's why I put rims on it, that's why I lowered it, because mostly people wrap them and they airbag it. And cool, there's no one here. Awesome, I could definitely show you guys the Tesla. Let me uh, back up real quick and uh, I'll get out. All right, I'm back guys. Uh, I was recording about three minutes while I was plugging in my Tesla and realized that I didn't bring this with me. It was stuck onto my seatbelt. So anyways, what I was talking about is a lot of people think that uh, you need a special like thing to come on here and like take this off. You can just take these off like normal right and then plug it into your car. It flashes blue and then it will start flashing green. Once it flashes green within like five or 10 seconds, you're charging. Super, super easy to do. I love these things. It gets charged to your credit card. No fancy stuff you gotta do and you can adjust the charge and it will tell you exactly how much you're spending at the time. So right now I've, I think 35 cents and I've been here for like three minutes, not too bad. And this is what I wanted to really show you guys was the look of my car. And I forgot I'm on an ultra wide angle right now. So I guess I can get closer to it to show you. And you can hear this uh, car. Maybe you can hear it, maybe you can't, but you can really hear it. It sounds like fans are running, but I love these LEDs. That's what I really wanted to show you guys. I also got a carbon fiber lip down here. I don't know if I showed you guys that or not. We got these carbon fiber uh, pieces right there for the fog lights. And one thing I had to do was underneath the car, 
I had to put a piece of foam to block the LEDs because if you come so far down, you're gonna see exactly where the LEDs are at. And from a normal height, you're not gonna see it. And the reason why I had to do that is because a lot of people airbag these cars. And I didn't airbag my car. I just did static suspension. I did coilovers actually. And uh, it's, it's pretty good to me. I don't think that's too bad of a ride height. Um, I don't, I'm not worried about hitting anything. I haven't hit anything on the front. I did have to move the rear uh, mud guards because they would hit everything. Actually, when I got it lowered, the guy broke it right off the bat. So I like how it sits. I wish it was lower, don't get me wrong, but I mean, the battery's underneath. You gotta be careful. You can see that this is very close. Like, <laughs> that is very close to the ground to me for a car that has the battery sitting right there. And then of course, the LEDs that you saw when I was talking earlier, these are all from EV base, and that's just it uh, kind of turning on and turning off right now. So there, it's back on. And then I control everything from my phone. My phone sits right there, I love it. But this isn't really a Tesla video. I'm thinking about it, I should have brought the clip that I broke on this car because when I was doing the engine bay or the frunk, there's a little piece on the, the side it sits right here, a little plastic clip, and I completely broke it. So it was like $8 to replace, not that bad, but still sucks when you break something on your car. So I wanted to fix it ASAP and I should have brought it because I have time. What I normally do when I'm charging, a lot of people are like, it's so boring. Why would you want to sit there and wait for your car to charge? I clean my interior. I wipe down my seats. Like I get a towel. I got some actual cleaner for this and I'm good. So I keep these seats nice and clean, but since I've been moving to the office, I actually took it out of my car to clean something at the office so I don't have it with me. So I'm just gonna be chilling here for a little bit. Right now I have 20 minutes remaining. I am at 59% and I'm gonna go up to about 82% because it's only gonna take me 2% to get to the office from here. And I want it to kind of sit around 80% right now. And once I get to the office, I am going to give you a little walk around tour of how it looks, but I'm not gonna go over every little thing. I'm gonna give you a little bit of details because I do have a sponsor for my office. If you guys didn't see my last video with the Suron, it's crazy how YouTube works. I post a video of my Tesla and I get Tesla companies reaching out to me. I got some that want to give me new interior pieces but i replaced them so i'm not going to change out my interior pieces that are carbon fiber that cost me a lot of money to put their stuff on to review it and i just want to take it off at the end of the day i don't want to be that type of person you know if i'm not going to use it then i don't want it and uh it's crazy because when i posted the office they wanted to send me a chair and i was like hey that's cool it's like a c7 chair i'll post a picture up on the screen so you guys can check it out and it's going to be way better i think than the chair i have in the office right now so i need to do an office tour a full one in detail. I'll get my DSLR camera instead of my GoPro. We might have to use the GoPro for a little bit of it. I'll just have to see because it's kind of tight in the office, but if I can find a wide angle DSLR lens that I have, I think I have one that might fit, then I'll, I, sh I should be able to film in the office, uh, no problem. But definitely want to show that to you. So uh, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit and I will see you when we're on the way over there. Oh, uh, here's one cool thing I should show you while I'm just sitting here waiting because I still got 11 minutes remaining. Uh, I have this thing on charging low and I also have another one somewhere over here, but basically uh, charging low means it shows that I'm charging. So it glows green as it's plugged into the charger. And I love doing this when I'm at charging stations because a lot of people just look at you like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like it's basically imitating that. And I don't have it on a fast speed. I can change the speed of that. But I just thought it was kind of cool to do that while I'm sitting here charging to give, you know, some people some stuff to look at. Let me show you some of these other ones we have in here. So uh, looking at the bottom, this is a rainbow rave. This is pretty cool. And then we got popcorn lights, which means that they kind of flash all over the place, all around the outside of the car. We got the blue flashing ones. It's kind of like a kit car, but blue, and it just goes all the way around the circle. It's pretty dope. Here's pink, um, all the color waves. So they go one by one. I kind of like that one a lot. Then we got the red, white, and blue. Kind of cool. I don't use this one too much because the blue and the red, I don't want to get pulled over by the cops. Then we got some blue and pink over here. And then we got a, a color flash. Like <laughs> it flashes three times every single time it switches to another color. I love that. And then here's the one I, I like using a lot, but I can only use it in parking lots. I can't use this while uh, driving around. And then we have some other ones, you know, like this. Um, probably shouldn't be using these. Yeah, definitely. This is a straight up cop one right there. So, and then we just have an all white as well, but I'm gonna put it back to the green one. But just something cool I wanted to show you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you guys like that or if you don't like that. 
And just like that, guys, it's calculating. You can see the time. If you want to go back and see how long it took us to go from, what were we at, like 54 or 55% up to uh, 82%. You can check that out. It's going to calculate and it's going to stop. You're going to hear like a popping noise and you could just unhook the charger and we can get on our way. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you heard that popping noise or not from my mic. Yeah, we just got to get out and then come over here. No special things. You just hit the button, undo it and just hang it up. Make sure you hang it up good because if this comes off and smacks your car, that sucks. But uh, all right, now let's head to the office. Why not do a quick little zero to 60? You know what I'm saying? At 82%, one, two, three, let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh yeah. These cars are so much fun. They don't have that much power top in, like after I'd say like 80 miles an hour or so when you hit them, if you're used to like high performance cars, but it's still pretty fun to always hit it from zero to 60. It, it, the drilling just gets you every time. Oh, I did have my cleaner for my seats. Dang it, I could have cleaned them instead of sitting there the whole time. All right, guys, here we go. Come check it out. So this is it. I pretty much live in the dark. Once the TV's on, which I'll turn on right now, uh, it'll light up this room a little bit better. But you can see it's a little messy on the floor over here because I just got some stuff in there. You go, you can see now the TV's on. Get a little bit better look in here. Um, this is the computer I have. This is a pre-built, but I put a 4090 on there. So that is a, whoa. All right, we also got a sound bar for the TV and it comes with a subwoofer. Probably not the best idea when you have an office space. And oh, we got the Xbox down there. I got a PlayStation 5 down there. And then this is the S, I think 95C from Samsung. So it's a flat TV. I love it. We also got a LEDs behind it too. Look at how flat this thing is all the way down other than the stand. I need to clean up that one wire right there. But the box goes in the center and all the HDMI's connect to it. So it's awesome, I love that. I got a uh, LG C3 monitor for uh, the computer, which is a 42 inch. It's an HDR display by the way, and it's OLED, I love this thing. So you can see it is 1.20 in the morning. I got my little refrigerator right here. I got my little welcome mat. I got my little trash can over there. I got my pull out sleeper sofa. So all I had to do is come over here, pull this out. If people come over or if I spend the night here because that's what I'm gonna do tonight because I have to edit a video tonight, which is technically going to be the video you guys see right now. And the next video you're gonna see after this is gonna be the VMAX scooter, which I'm probably gonna shoot tomorrow. And then you'll see it in a couple days after that. But I really wanted to get some content out for you guys. So hopefully you guys like this. Um, it's a different video than what I do, but I normally just try to show you guys the life of doing YouTube and you know appreciating the fans because without all you guys watching these videos and supporting me, liking the videos, commenting, whatever, I wouldn't be able to do all the stuff I do. So really appreciate you guys. And yeah, we're gonna figure out something where um, you, if you guys are a member of the channel, I'm gonna start putting your guys' names like in the video, maybe towards the end or something, kind of like what people do for Patreon. Um, or fi I'll figure out something, e either maybe in the description, like at the very end, I'll figure it out. But peace and love to all you guys. Be safe out there riding, and hopefully you guys like this little quick uh, tour of the office. But I will definitely do a new one, and I'll show you guys every single little thing. We'll open the refrigerator. I'll open everything. I'll show you guys how comfortable the couch is. I'll show you all the storage in the couch. I'll show you how everything looks when I turn the lights on, because if I really turn the lights on, you can really see in here, but... Nah, those lights are way too bright. It hurts my eyes. I live in the dark. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.